What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and welcome back to another video in Forza Horizon 4. Now since we've been on a bit of a theme of off-road builds lately, I wanted to take some time to build a CJ5 Renegade because the CJ5 has a special place to me because I owned one, but it actually also kind of, it has a special place in history as one of the coolest Jeeps ever made, in my opinion. I, lo I love these things. I absolutely love these things. And it's really cool because my old one, my old one is still kind of like, it's still up in the same area where it was when I had it. I actually sold it to a really good friend of mine um, that did a spring over axle conversion and put like 35s or 37s on it. I can't remember like what size tire and now uses it as a rock crawler. So it's, it's actually really, really cool. It's kind of like the history is still... Uh, the, like the lifespan of, of what it should be doing, or at least the theme of what it should be doing, uh, is being continued. So I think that's awesome. Now let's go ahead and get into the build itself. Now for this Jeep, we're going to try to do anything and everything that we can to, let's see, what can we do? Like, I'm kind of thinking about just building out the stock engine because engine swap wise, we have like, we could we could probably, yeah, we could twin turbo or supercharge the stock engine, or we could go for a 6.2 V8, 8.4 V10, 6.5 V12, or a 7.2 liter racing engine. Wow, that would be nutty. Right now, it makes 151 horsepower and 245 foot-pounds of torque, but it only weighs 2,271 pounds, so it would be a really, really good really, really good basis for an off-road build. So I think what I'm going to do is fully... NA build the stock engine because remember we're not really going for massive massive power here really all that we want out of this thing is really good torque that's that's the that's the entire idea here is really good torque so I think a fully built stock engine would be a really uh, actually a really good idea for this so let's see we come out to 313 horsepower and 387 foot pounds of torque that's not a massive amount especially by today's standards but for a full NA build on an old engine I think it's pretty good and it should actually do the job really well for what we're going to use this thing for. So we'll do race brakes and we'll do rally suspension, which it actually does lift it a little bit, which is really, really good. We'll do, we'll do race sway bars so we can basically adjust them to full stiff or not full stiff. Oh my God, not full stiff, full soft. So we can have all of that flex uh, or at least an, a little bit of flex because Forza doesn't really have flex as a theme in their suspension designs, but we are going to go ahead and put the full cage in it because we are going to be kind of, you know, crawling with it. And then we're going to go for race weight reduction. So the weight is down to 1800 pounds with the full cage, which is really damn good. And now we're going to build out the drivetrain, get everything, everything beefed up and not just beefed up, but basically get everything to the point where we can tune it and to where all of the connection and response time is at its best. Now wheel and tire wise, our tires are going to be a off-road race compound and size-wise, they're going to be as wide as it'll let us make them. It doesn't really... It's not really going to let us make them that wide. Um, I'm actually going to leave it on the stock wheels because I think the stock wheels really suit the application. And I think they suit the Jeep. So, bump, let's see. Bumper-wise, I mean, do I want that? I'm not sure because, well... Hmm, it doesn't change the, yeah, it doesn't really change anything with, like, the approach angle of the front end, so we'll go ahead and add it. And then, at the rear, we could take the spare tire off, or we could just leave it on. I'm gonna leave it on, because I think it looks, I think it looks good, and it's functional. And then, let's see. We'll do, yeah, we'll do these fenders, so no flares, and a... No flares and a sidestep slash rock slider. So that will work. And that is pretty much our Jeep. So we're going to go ahead and install everything. And then we're going to go to tuning. And because we have a couple things we need to mess with, like the sway bars. And I think the ride height is probably maxed out already. But we'll have to see within the tuning. So let's go ahead. And the gearing is going to go to about like a mm, probably like probably a 456. I'll have it right there to 456 and then sway bars are going full soft basically like it doesn't have them so that will hopefully help it to be able to lean and twist off road let's see the springs i think i'm just going to go soft on those as well and the ride height is already max high so that is pretty much all done and taken care of 
and diff. Let's see, front, I'm going to put acceleration up to 100%, and then rear, I'm going to put acceleration up to 100%, and decel to set, leave, I'm going to leave the decel at 75. So that should be a decent basis for an off-road tune. So now let's take this thing out there, take it up to uh, the hill that's actually really close to this house, and see what it's like. Now, oh, God. Look at that body lean. Holy crap. That is, oh, it flips over. That's hilarious. If you turn too hard, it flips. It's like a real CJ. It's hilarious. Like, it drives. Drives like a real CJ. So let's see where, oh, God. So that's where we need to go. I hate the fact that it's nighttime. You know what? You know what? We'll pick this up when it's not nighttime anymore. All right, so it's daytime again, and we're good to go for some uh, for some off-roading. So I'm going to head for that little rock trail over here that we found last time, and we'll see what this little Jeep can do. So let's see. We'll put it in maybe first to start. I wish we could give it bigger tires. But oh, oh, God. Wow, it's already doing a lot better than the Titan did. Holy, well, without, oh, no. Okay, so it was doing a lot better than, than the Titan until it rolled over. Wow, the short wheelbase helps it so much! Oh, the short wheelbase and the soft suspension is like the setup here. Dude! Look at this little thing go! Oh my god, look at this little thing go! That's brilliant! It's already well outdone the Titan. Wow! Oh my god! Oh my god! It We just did that entire trail. We just did that entire trail. No problem. Need a little bit more momentum to get up back because that is steep as hell. But but uh-oh. Okay, it stopped it's it stopped responding for a second. It was like it was like nope. But no, that trail was, that trail was like difficult, really difficult for the Titan. This little guy, no problem at all. Just absolutely, absolutely went for it and, and just like rocked. It went straight up. I need to get it off its side though. Oh geez. Oh, okay. I think we're good. Now, oh God, I forgot I was in, uh, come on. There we go. Oh, oh my god. Holy rollover. That's ridiculous. Okay, we've already done that little rock trail, and we know that this thing can do it now. We... Really? Right back to the same position as before. Okay, there we go. Gotta, like, switch positions a little bit, because... There, now that we're on this side, we might be able to get up to the top of the hill. There it goes. It's a little slick, but it does it. The short gear ratios and the torque help a lot. Go! Come on, torque! Yes! Oh, dude! Okay, that view is that that's that's one hell of a reward right there. That's awesome. Oh, we gotta go up there. All right, so let's see. Let's give this thing another little challenge. That is steep as hell. Oh, dude, it does it! That's crazy! This is so far the best off-road rig that I've that, that I think I've built. There we go, got an influence board. If you were needing the location of that influence board, there it is. But no, like, dude, so far, by far the best off-road build that I've ever done. Like, it's so far in, in Horizon 4, this thing absolutely just kills it with off-road capability. Just absolutely freaking kills it. Because of that short gear ratio, it really does a lot of, like, a lot of engine braking going downhill. Works really well. Alright. Oh, oh. A little trail right here. Kind of. Hey, we got another influence board. They used to go off-roading sometimes. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Let's be... 
Ah, uh, I see what it was. Yeah, be, be whoa, be really careful right there. The collision points for those rocks are in really weird places. All right, stop. Be easy. Aha, yep. Oh, it pushed me over. The piece of the sign is what pushed me over. That's random and weird. Yeah, a piece of the sign flipped me over. That's super weird. Careful, slowly. Never been back here before. Just be easy about it. Not sure what's back here either, so... <laughs> gotta be like... Gotta be really, really careful. Easy. Oh, are you kidding me? Bruh. Oh my god. Wait, is this the spot that we started? It is. It is. God, just use the torque of the thing, though. That's all you need to do. Use the torque and the gearing advantage, and you've got yourself, like, you've got yourself a absolute winner right here when it comes to off-road capability. Like, this thing is wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful, and I highly recommend it to anybody that wants a stout off-road rig in Horizon 4. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, tell me in the comments below what you thought of it, and if you have any suggestions for other builds or videos that you want to see. And if you're new around here, make sure you click that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next one.